All right, folks. So we're trying something new here with a little bit of uh, screen sharing and screen recording. So hopefully this will work out well for us. But what we're looking at here is our finished practice model here. So we went through the uh, went through everything, did a couple of sketches, a couple of different extrusions, messed around with some of the sketch tools, and uh, messed around with some of these feature or model tools. Now, I think that we're ready to go ahead and create our drawing. In order to do so, I think we're gonna create a drawing template. So what we are going to do is we are going to go down to this bottom left-hand side of the menu, and we are going to click this plus sign, this guy right here. So if I go ahead and click that, we will see this menu here. This menu here gives us a lot of different options. Uh, well, the one we are going to use is Create Drawing. So we'll go ahead and click Create Drawing. It's going to bring up with a nice little menu of a bunch of different options here. Now, instead of using some of the existing templates, and you can see I already have a drawing template here available. Uh, instead of using the existing templates, we are going to go to the right here and go to Custom Templates. So we'll click that. Now, this might look very confusing, but it's not a big deal because we're not changing too much of it. We're keeping this entire left side uh, the same, so we don't have to adjust anything. But on the right side here, we are going to adjust our horizontal zones to four, our vertical zones to four, and then we are going to not include our title block because we're going to create our very own title block in this situation. So now that we have these settings, Again, these settings right here, the horizontal zones uh, and vertical zones both change to four. In the title block, we are going to change from include to not include. We can go ahead and go to this bottom right-hand corner and click OK. It's going to load the drawing here. It might take a second. Once that drawing is all loaded up, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and shove that over to the side. And we can see that we have our drawing here. Now, we are missing something, of course, in the bottom right-hand corner, we should have, in the bottom right-hand corner, we should have a, uh, uh, we should have a title block in which we do not. So, uh, in order to fix this problem, we are going to go up to table. It's up here in the tool menu. You will see it says table. Go ahead and click that. You will get a pop-up menu on the left side here, as well as your table being visible. We're going to go to the pop-up menu, and we are going to change the rows to three. We are going to change the columns to one, and then we are going to add a title row. Now, it's going to look real skinny right now, but it is the four columns that we are looking for, uh, or I'm sorry, four rows that we are looking for on our title block. The last thing we need to do it's changed the fixed corner. Right now it's in the upper right-hand corner and we're gonna change it to the bottom right-hand corner. So if we go ahead and change that, now you can see that our cursor is kind of stuck to the bottom right-hand corner and uh, we're ready to go ahead and place this. You guys know that this title block's going in the bottom right-hand corner. So we're gonna go ahead and use our constraints. You can see it wants to constrain straight to our corner with that green box, or I'm sorry, that orange box. Go ahead and do a left click and it will place it right in place there for you. And now that we have it placed, we can go ahead and hit the green, uh, the green check mark there. We are going to hit the escape button because we're not interested in adding details quite yet because we want to go ahead and adjust the size of this title block. So if I come over here, I should be able to just uh, left click and hold and drag it out and once again, if I move my cursor down, I should be able to uh, use a constraint right on that one mark right there. So, uh, so that's basically what we're looking for. Now, the next step in this process is adding the actual content. So we can go ahead and now double click on the header. Now for this one, uh, this is our title. I'm going to say that it is drawing number, and we'll just keep it at that. Every time I come in here, I can just quickly click on there and change the number of the drawing. The next one here, we are going to type in our name. So I'll say, uh, well, I'll just put 
I'll put Matt Battaglia, put my full name since you know you will be as well. And then uh, we'll put a, we'll put one, two, three, four spaces, four clicks of the space bar. And we're going to go ahead and toss in our time slot number. And then you can just go in and add your number, uh, whatever number it is. And then we'll do one, two, three, four clicks. And the last thing we are going to add is using this insert drawing property. If I click that, that insert drawing property, it looks like a little piece of paper, the title block in the bottom corner and an arrow pointing down. I can actually add specific information that will automatically be filled out for me, which is awesome. It makes your life so much easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, and we're going to do drawing last changed date. So what that'll do is it'll automatically put in uh, the date in which the, the last date in which you worked on the drawing for submission, and that will always stay the same. So no matter when you use the title block or whenever you use the drawing template, it will change that for you. Now we will notice, right, that uh, that this is kind of coming off the end here. Now it's no big deal. We're just gonna change this to a 0.1 font and you can see it all fits nice and tidy now. We'll move down to the next row here. Move down to the next row. And here we're gonna put the project audience, which in most cases will be Mr. B. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clicks of the space bar this time. And then we'll go ahead and once more insert drawing property, click that. We'll scroll down. You'll see that it says um, sheet scale, sheet scale. So we're gonna click sheet scale. And what that'll do is it'll insert the scale uh, of your drawing, whatever it is. In fact, what else I would like to do is I would like to put scale in there as well. My apologies. Uh, go ahead back in there. And, uh, and add scale. And then down here, the very last uh, piece of information that we're going to add in this bottom box is the uh, additional information. Now, in this case, I am just going to put additional information. Oops, Mr. B can't spell, sorry. And, uh, and I am not going to put anything in here. I'll leave it blank, but obviously you are going to put some sort of content or information in there. All right. We are all done with our title block. It looks stellar. It looks, uh, it looks perfect. But what we need to do is go ahead and save this. And what we're actually going to do is uh, save it and then import it back in as a template. What we'll do is we'll go to down where it says drawing number one. That's what we've been working on here. And we're going to write click. When we right click, we'll see some different options. In fact, quite a few options, but the one that we're interested in is export. So go ahead and click export. When you click export, you will see a bunch of different options. Uh, we can change the drawing name. Oops. To uh, drawing template. And once we have it as drawing template, we can go ahead and uh, it will probably load it in as some other file, but we need it to be a DWT. Make sure that this is a DWT file. That is our template file. We're gonna keep everything else the same, so it should make your life nice and easy, but we're gonna go ahead and hit export. So go ahead and hit export down here where it says export. Make sure that you've changed your title to drawing template in your format to DWT, then go ahead and hit export. That is going to export my file and actually physically download my file to my computer. Not only that, it will also create a copy of this drawing template as a DWT file right here. Now, we are going to go to the OnShape logo and we are going to click, as we all know, clicking on this OnShape logo brings us directly back to our homepage or our dashboard. And we can go to Create. We can go to Import Files. 
You're going to go ahead and find that downloaded file, which I have right here as drawing template. We'll open it up. And now each time, whenever I go to create a drawing, so let's say I go back to, uh, or I go to a new document, we'll open it up. Let's say that this is our next drawing that we are working on here. We're opening up our next drawing. It's taking a bit of time here. So let's say we're completely done with our, our next model and we want to start our next drawing. I'm going to go to create drawing. And now you should see in there drawing template. Now that we have uploaded it, you should see drawing template. Whoops, there we go. Here are all the templates that, uh, that I just uploaded. Now, uh, I already have previous ones, so I'll have to delete a few, but, uh, but this will be probably the one that you'll be opening up each time. And instead of going and creating a custom template each time, now you can just go ahead and click your drawing template, whichever one you're using, and hit OK. Wait for it to load, and you are ready to bring the information in. All you got to do is add your additional info, uh, add your drawing number, and load in your views and you're good to go. Hopefully this video helps you out in creating your uh, custom drawing template uh, and I'll see you next time.